All right, guys, here we go. A review of Jelly Bean on the Google and Samsung Nexus S. Not the Nexus S 4G. This is just the Nexus S. Running Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Here's the new lock screen with that cool little searchlight type animation with a bunch of dots. From here we can unlock, start Google Now, or go to the camera. We'll start off by going to Google Now just because it's a new feature and it makes more sense than unlocking to me All right and here we have Google Now see it pops up quick you can either type in your search say Google just change it to a Google search and here is the new card layout for your search results so we can test out the Google Now there was issues with the voice not working and everything. They had they gotten that fixed. So let's do a search on something. What do you guys think we should search for? Hmm. When did E and J first come out? When did E and J Brandy first come out? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Did a search result. Didn't hear me correctly either time, but there is result for it. Kill your liver quickly with EJ. Makes sense. Tends to hurt drinking that. But there's your results. With Google Now, you can get your results. You can have a web search. You can change it to your image search places. Pretty much the full Google search that you would do. Regardless. So if you can say everything that you need, it's not a conversational thing like Siri or nothing like that. I believe they're trying to stray away from it being a gimmick and be and more like it's being something useful. So the conversation part is unnecessary. But for Google Now and the new Google search, they have redesigned the Google search bar. Now it has a little bit of color to it. Solid color, white Google, new microphone. Right there. And as you see, this ROM does have working Wi Fi. Everything works as far as Wi Fi, 3G. It all works. Works good. Okay. Here's one of the new widgets that you get with Jelly Bean. It's uh, called Play Recommendations, I believe. You might see it on the Nexus S or Nexus 7 or Galaxy Nexus with Jelly Bean already on it. And here is another one called What's that What's this song? Pretty much you play a song, it'll tell you what the song is, the artist, album, all that. I believe it's like SoundCloud. But it comes with Jelly Bean now. It's one of their new widgets to be useful. And here's the other one, my library. We don't really have anything in the library on here, but if we did, it'd pop up here 
however they wanted to put it. And we can see you can get check out your ringtones and stuff, and all that. It does use everything from your Google account as far as what you've gotten from the Play Store. So as you see, it opens up Google Play. If there was movies there, it'd be opening up the Play movies and TV and such. App drawer, it's pretty much the same as stock ice cream sandwich. Transitions directly into your widgets. Uh, one main difference that you can notice is that now the widgets come with this grayish box around it, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit better in my opinion, because now you can distinct, distinctly tell which one is which instead of just an invisible background and it kind of looks all jumbled. This is more neat and more organized to me. Makes more sense. As you see the ROM runs smoothly. Goes through and does stuff when you don't press the wrong buttons and such. Everything opens fast. Open up something familiar. YouTube. You know, it's obviously it could be a little bit better, but it is a port. But so far, it runs pretty, pretty good in my opinion. It's fast. Everything opens up a little bit quicker. You know, Nexus S originally was all right. Wasn't the fastest thing ever, so. And it's only single core. There's no overclock on this. Okay, so one of the another new feature coming from Jelly Bean is notification. Notification looks different now, as you see here. We have quite a bit bigger time with the date and everything sent to the side of it. Looks a little bit different. I think it looks a lot more professional, a lot better. I like how they cleaned up the notification. Instead of an X, we now have these tab-like things, kind of like what you would see in the browser for your tabs. And that's to remove them. Remove all your notifications quickly. We still have a shortcut to the settings. It looks just a little bit different. And they went with a black and white theme mostly instead of, you know, all the colors in ICS. A lot more polished. looks a lot better. This this is new too. They uh, added it when you press down on it. It kind of lights up as you're doing it. But the main features of the new notification is the fact that you can expand widgets. I mean, not widgets. It's kind of like a widget, but it's a notification. You can expand them now. You can check, get more information out of your widget. Makes I mean again get more information out of your notifications it makes it a lot better you don't have to go into the app as you see we can see a good two four six seven previews as you see it's nothing important so you don't even need to open gmail to check those out you're done with it two finger swipe up closes it back up two finger swipe down Open it up, expand it. You know, you can go straight to your Google. You can go straight to Gmail from there. Click on there. Pretty much the usual. It's just a lot more polished and a lot better notification. Um, with certain notifications, you can do a lot more. As in, you don't have to open up your app really. You can say if you missed a call, there'll be a call back button and such. So. A lot more function put into your notification bar. Looks like so it looks a lot better, a lot more professional. Even though it's, everything looks and feels pretty much the same as ICS, except for the speed.